Hi, y'all. Here's a quick tip video for you. For those of you who are um, trying to learn how to get your crab scratches and your twiddle scratches better and you just don't have that dexterity in your fingers yet, this is a good way to uh, train your fingers and to get that muscle memory uh, in your fingers uh, to help get you to roll those crabs. So uh, this is one thing I've been doing a long time for the people that I had taught you know how to scratch back in the day um, but uh, yeah I even use this technique myself this is the reason why I showed it to other people that I, I, I taught how to scratch but um, you know of course of course the crab scratch is running your fingers either all four fingers or three fingers across the fader while you use your thumb kind of like a spring well that's kind of a odd movement to do <laughs> You know, and what a lot of people have a uh, problem with is their thumb is too um, stiff. So instead of it being a spring like so, it's too stiff, and then they end up doing this because they're putting too much pressure. So, or they just don't have the the movement in their fingers to get that that down. You know, to roll. So. What I decided to do to, to help me out back in the day was to switch my fader to hamster, which basically is scratching with the volume. You know what I mean? Um, volume. Okay. But instead of having to use your thumb as the spring, now we're going to end up using the sidewall of the mix of the fader or the mixer to help you bounce that fader back. So, uh, you'll be able to get the motion down. Um, even with twiddles. You know what I mean? So, you know, try doing that for a while and eventually, you know, you'll get that muscle memory down and your thumb will start to relax a little bit more. And you get that crab scratch going. And those twiddles. So hopefully that video helps y'all out. Peace.